What's going on, everybody? I'm about to show you a guy who got screwed the day he signed the dotted line. We'll talk about it when I get back. I'm your host, Larry, of the No Regret Show. Think about subscribing to the channel. A West Side man took his $87,000 GT Mustang to a Bernie car dealership so they could sell it for him. But now the car is gone and he has yet to see a dime. Well, that's when he called Ken's. Reporter Andrew Moore has this story. Felipe Villarreal had trusted Hobie Motor Cars to sell his Ford Shelby Mustang in a consignment sale. But then three weeks later, the dealership was tricked by a fraudster into releasing the car and they have nothing to show for it. Villarreal was hoping they would take responsibility, but so far that hasn't happened. I always wanted to get a car just like that. That particular color, they only made a little over 400 of them. Felipe Villarreal bought his dream car in 2022, just as inflation was starting to hit. Eventually, he couldn't justify the payments for his beloved Shelby Mustang, and he trusted Hovey Motor Cars in Bernie to sell it. They set the price just under $87,000, and three weeks later, he got a call. He tells me, well, the good news is we sold your car. I'm like, well, great. What's the bad news? He told me it was a fraudulent buyer. His car was now gone, and the dealership had not a single penny to show for it. According to a statement from Rick Hovey Jr., the fraud suspect was able to make a $10,000 down payment with a credit card and was approved for a loan. Five days later, they found out that card was stolen and the money was pulled back. For it to be taken so easily is baffling. But also, according to Rick Hovey Jr., the dealership is insisting it's not responsible. Hovey Jr. told Ken's Five Villarreal signed a contract that required him to have, quote, full coverage insurance and says he is totally responsible for all damages, repairs and or theft that might occur. To top it off, Villarreal's insurance did not cover consignment sales. It feels like somebody hit you hard in the gut. You know, it really did. But does Hovey Motor Cars really have no responsibility in this case? We spoke to an insurance expert and an attorney to find out. The dealership's contract may have required Villarreal to have full coverage, but Rich Johnson with the Insurance Council of Texas says even full coverage insurance normally doesn't include consignment situations. If, you, if you're consigning a car, it's typically not, uh, and something happens to your car, uh, it's typically not covered up. Now, <laughs> he got screwed the day he signed for that car because I can almost guarantee you that was bought with COVID money. I can almost guarantee you that that car was bought with COVID money. And when things started to get hard, oh, when things started to get hard, uh, he couldn't live. As inflation hit, that car payment started to rock him. Now I checked out that car. Shelby GT500 is a gorgeous car, gorgeous car. But there was a markup on those cars back then. I remember looking at them. They wanted $120,000, $130,000. There's no reason why you should pay more than markup. I'll tell you that right now. There's no reason why you should pay more. There's no reason why you should pay a markup. I remember people were... I remember people were paying 50000 over for a track hawk. I went to go look at a track hawk. I was like, yo, these people are crazy. I bumped into a guy at a gas station. I had the Corvette, and he told me he spent $140,000 on his Shelby GT500. Now, that same car, I found that car. That car, brand new, this car has 600 and something miles on it, is going for $90,000. $90,000. I can guarantee you the person who bought that car spent $120 originally or $130. That guy is still on the hook for that money. Now, when I sell my cars, when I sold the Corvette, when I sold the Shelby, or any car I sell, I go to kbb.com. You go to KBB, you can put your VIN in there, and dealerships will bid on your car, meaning you'll get multiple multiple dealerships contacting you and you shop around the same way you shop around for a car, you shop around selling your car for the best offer. That's what I do. Or you can even go to Carvana or Vroom and they will come to your house and pick the car up for you. I can almost guarantee that car, 
I can almost guarantee he's underwater in it. He's underwater. Like I said, it's a gorgeous car. It is a beautiful car. Let me put some photos up. That is a gorgeous car. Very nice. But you're on the hook for that. Remember, you get into an accident with that car, they don't give you what the car, what you paid for it. Meaning they give you roughly what the car is worth and what they're going for in your area. So say you owe $130,000 on that car. The car is worth 70. You're on the hook. You're on the hook for that other what, 60 grand? You're on the hook for that. You crash that car and you don't have gap insurance or you don't have a lot of money down on the car. And now myself, this car that I purchased and certain cars, I will not say, I, I'm, I have to tell you this, they're not investments, but there's some cars that hold their values better than other. Porsche 911s hold their value. M cars, meaning the, uh, the, uh, the M2 that I'm in, they hold their value. M3s, M4s, they hold their value very well. Uh, RS from Audi, Lamborghinis, a lot of your high-end sports cars, they hold their value. There's certain cars that are desirable that will always be desired and they hold their value, but that doesn't give you any excuse to overpay on them. When that guy took that car to that consignment, why would you do that? Why would you take a car to consignment? If to a, to a, a consignment place, if you put down a down payment and you the, 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 the let's just say you were going to get a check back. Like I got a check for the Shelby. Why wouldn't you just sell it to a regular dealer? Why would you bring that to a consignment? Now they got screwed. You got screwed. Everybody screwed. And you're the one that's going to get screwed the most because you're on the hook with the bank. The dealership's not on the hook. Okay. They're not on the hook. You are gorgeous car, but somebody made away with it. I mean, all they got to do is just track down the VIN. That's all they got to do, track down the VIN, track down the car, see where the car is registered. In my opinion, that car is probably stripped down or it has bogus VINs on it now. But don't get screwed, man. Don't get screwed paying for these cars. Make sure even if you get a car, for instance, I have a high car payment in this. I'm going to tell you what it is. It's $1,300 a month. I put down tax title tags. The reason why I put down tax title tags and I don't, put down large amounts of money, like the whole car. You guys know I bought the Shelby in full. That was the worst thing I could have ever did. I created capital gains. I had to pay taxes. It, it, it was just a mess. I've learned to put down tax title tags. I'm not financing tax, okay? Put down tax title tags and maybe an extra three grand more. Make my payments astronomical, paid off in a year or two and leave your money growing for you. But I can almost guarantee you that guy bought that car with COVID stimulus money. We're gonna see more cases like this. More people will get scammed. They will keep getting scammed. So hope the video helps. No regrets, get it.